Hello everyone, it's Tiffany, also known as Shoe Connoisseur. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful. Um, I got a question concerning my hair and how I get it to wave up and stuff like that. There are a million videos on YouTube concerning um, natural hair and a natural hair journey, natural hair process. Um, but because I was asked, I decided to do this video. There really isn't much that I do to my hair. Um, I barely even comb it. I try not to manipulate it much because I have about four inches of new growth and the rest is relaxed hair so it's very fragile, um, easily to break. So the at least amount of times in one week that I have to manipulate and comb my hair is best. Um, and I normally uh, wash it once or twice a week. It'll just depends on how often I go to the gym that week. Uh, but uh, I try very hard to not manipulate it and that may sound a little gross that you know I'm a woman and only comb my hair once or twice a week but it works for me normally once I have it pulled back and I sleep with a scarf I normally don't have to worry about having to uh, do it do it the next day um, but um, yeah so I'm gonna take this bun out this is what I look like in the morning when I wake up minus a scarf on my head I usually wear this um, silk scarf on my head um, but yeah, this is what I look like when I get up in the mornings. And my husband still loves me. <laughs> but this is my hair. Um, very thick. Um, I did a, um, research online trying to figure out what hair type I am. I think I'm either, uh, 4B or 4C. I think I'm somewhere in between there. Um, but yeah. And the wave pattern, I think it has everything to do with my, it being my natural, my, my, uh, my weight pattern pattern has everything to do with not necessarily the products that I put in my hair totally, but I guess the type of hair that I have. Um, but yeah, it's very thick um, and not naturally soft. I have to add products to my hair to make my hair soft. But um, yeah, this is all relaxed ends and I cut it every couple of months. Um, just slowly but surely cutting it off but this is what it looks like but I'm gonna show you the products that I use one is water because I just cannot do my hair without it being wet um, the second thing is eco styler gel that is um, supposedly alcohol free and the last product is Maya butter um, this Maya butter is sold by uh, another youtuber by the name of uh, Twinkies 2003 and uh, she did not ask me to promote her uh, product but I do believe in sharing um, info on products that works well for me and this is awesome I've um, in the beginning I became a product junkie just trying to figure out what products works well for my hair and um, I've gone through so many products and wasted so much money and I find that this is the only product that really works well for moisturizing my natural hair. I brought something else in here. Um, Carol's Daughter stuff. Am I the only one who's not really impressed with the products? I so desperately wanted to like it. I tried it on um, when my hair was relaxed and I revisited it because I thought well maybe it would be best when because my uh, have so much uh, new growth uh, natural hair and I just do not like the Carol's Daughters products. Um, it does absolutely nothing for me. I'm not, I'm not impressed with it at all. I want it to be. I so desperately want it to be but it does nothing for my hair. So, but this is my butter. I don't, I, y'all, I, I don't know what, I don't know if she kiss it, bless it up to God. I don't know what she did, but this stuff, I, as a matter of fact, I have uh, three other friends that's uh, natural or going natural, and they love it. They love this stuff. Um, it has shea, cocoa, coconut butter, olive oil, and essential oils in it. If you're really interested, um, you can uh, do a search on YouTube and you're going to hear so so many positive reviews on it. Or you can uh, look up my video. Um, I have a review on uh, the Maya but I don't really use it on my skin, but it works wonders in my hair. And I've tried a million things. And um, I've rebought this thing about four times. But anyway, this is not about the Maya butter, but I just really wanted to talk talk about this because it's an, it's an excellent product and I think people should give it a try. Again, I think my hair is 4B, 4C, so I'm not sure if it matters 
um, with your texture of hair how well this works. But anyway, um, moving on. So um, sometimes I am in my bathroom right now, and then sometimes I just take this brush and run it under the water and then do my hair. But because I'm doing a video, I'm going to take this spray bottle, and I'm just going to saturate my hair. I'm going to wet it. I wet it all over. Okay. And just wet it all over so it's soft and easy to uh, to brush. Seems like it would have been better if I'd have just put my head under a running faucet, right? And then just make sure it's um, well saturated with water. So that I can manipulate it without causing a lot of breakage. And um, I have to admit, I'm not always gentle with my hair. I said I was going to get a little better with that if I want to retain length. Okay, so I think this is um, this may be good enough. Okay, all right. So um, now that I have that wet, um, I will take some of this um, Maya butter, rub it in my hand, and rub it on my hair. Um, and I am very generous with this stuff. Get it on the tips of my fingers and I try to massage it, massage it in my scalp. Because I have very dry, very dry. Sometimes I part it and just, as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'll do. Part my hair with my fingers and rub it in some parts of my scalp a little, little bit more. Um, if you have um, really thin hair, I think this may weigh your hair down too much. Um, maybe. But for my texture hair, it just... Sometimes I think I hear my hair scream, Thank you! Thank you for the Maya butter! Thank you! Okay, like I said, I'm, I'm very generous with this stuff on my hair and on my scalp. Um, okay, I'm still packing. <laughs> um, if Twinkie see this um, video, she's probably going to say, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to tag in it. She's probably going to say, Tiffany, you're putting too much in there, girl. <laughs> but, uh yeah, I think I will tag her in there in this video just to make sure that she's okay with how I represented her, her product. Um, just a courtesy. Every business owner wants to know what a person thinks of their product. So, okay, all right. So I put that all in my hair and on my scalp and you hear my hair saying thank you. So I can't believe I am on camera with my hair looking like this. But anyway, I uh, put it on my ends of my hair. Okay, so after I do that, this is what I do. I take the a brush is a no no. I know that because it breaks off your hair, but um I still have that uh, relaxed hair mentality where I want those edges to lay down. I even brought in, uh, <laughs> y'all tried to use a baby brush thinking that um, it would be better, but it works well with my edge here. But this thick stuff back here, no. I need a goody hard brush. You hear me? So, yeah, this is how, like I said, I'm not 
I'm not always um, gentle with my hair. Okay. And once I get it combed back, um, brushed back well, you notice I do not have a comb. I um, only time I comb it is uh, right after I wash it. <clears throat> but anyway, after I put that product in my hair to moisturize my hair, I. Uh, Oh, my hands are slippery. Can't get it open. I put the Eco Styler gel in. Okay. And I am generous with this too. I scoop up a lot of the product like that. And I put it in my hair. And um, the one I have is, is this Stronghold or? It's Max Hold, it says on the jar, but I'm not sure if there is, are any other ones. I know there are ones that um, don't have the olive oil in it, but I, I can't say that I saw one that was Light Hold or anything else. Let's, I only saw two in my, uh, I think I got that from the local Kmart, my local Kmart. But anyway, yeah, I am very generous with the product. And it doesn't necessarily leave my hair hard and uh, crunchy. And I'm not sure if it doesn't leave my hair hard and crunchy because I have all that Maya butter in it that prevents it from getting hard and crunchy. But it does lay those help lay those edges down and it does um, look smooth. But I can't say that it, it makes it hard. And as you can see, my hair is waving up. It looks kind of nasty because you could see the product. And then... Um, looks ooky and um, yeah but that the product that you see is the gel mixed with the Maya butter and it will that whiteness will go away that looks nasty doesn't it <laughs> but uh, anyway so yeah so got that slick back I'll never become pre president with this uh, video posted on YouTube. <laughs> uh, this and I just brush into a ponytail. And I get as much as that. This stuff is thick. If you can't, this is some thick stuff. If you can't tell, so um, yeah. Whew. Okay. And then I take two of these rubber bands ponytail holders for the hair and I wrap it around as tight as I could get it and that's normally um, wrapping around about four times okay okay so it's on there and then sometimes um, I will take the brush and just make sure all that's back. Uh, and then I will take some more gel. I know this seems like a lot because it is. But it's what they do. I know some of you are probably frowning your frown in your face like my gracious how much is she going to use and this stuff is water soluble so it's not hard to wash up my hair wash it out of my hair I don't have like um, believe it or not I don't have a buildup problem but like I said I will probably do this once or twice a week it's lately it's more so once a week so I don't have to keep adding product to my hair which y'all say thank God <laughs> so um yeah I will
brush those edges down and um, I used to when this is much longer I used to uh, twist it and then tuck it under with a pen but it's barely any hair there lately so what I would do would be uh, still twist it and I would um, been introduced to these hair pieces I showed you these in a, um, I think a haul video and um, I showed these on the back of my hair when I talked about my natural hair journey um, so one is um, small and it says kids I don't see how you can fit this on the back of a kid's head though because it's kind of big to me and then this one is a much bigger one so yeah but I will put that on the back of my head but right now uh, because I want it to my hair to continue to lay down while it's while it's drying I put a scarf on my head and um, <laughs> I'm not sure I want to put the scarf on on camera I, I don't know why um, the fact that y'all saw me with my hair all over my head is um, is as personal as I want to get I don't want y'all to see me with um, a head scarf on my head but anyway that's normally what I do I take a silk head scarf okay a silk one so because it's supposed to be better for the hair it doesn't uh, break the hair off to lay my hair down and um, whenever I'm ready to go out and about I'll take the hair the hair scarf off and it will lay my hair down if you are new to my channel and haven't seen um, any pictures of how my hair pulled back um, I will have one at the end of this video but uh, this concludes the video um, Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this answers the question um, to the young lady who sent me a message. See, it wasn't that hard. It's just a matter of pulling my hair back, and um, the, the wave pattern is there, I guess. Um, oh, and in the morning, I will take some uh, almond, I think it's almond oil, almond oil, and put a little bit in my hair, uh, put a little bit in my hand, and wipe it on my hair just to give it a little bit of shine. That's that's what I do. That's my final step. Okay, my camera's acting weird again, so I'm, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, you all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.